Welcome back to TacosAndGeeks.com. Justin here, and today we're back with more coverage for Fall Anime 2020. And I'm totally going to box the Japanese pronunciation because everybody knows by now if you've been watching OMG for 10 years, I suck at the pronunciation, I'm sorry. Um, we are uh, going to be reviewing Iwakaru Sports Climbing Girls. I tried, people. I tried. I tried. Uh, or Wakakaru. I tried. Anyway, Sports Climbing Girls. Here's a brief synopsis. Sports climbing is a sport that makes use of both the body and the brain to climb walls. Uh, Kasahara just happens to discover her school's climbing wall and it looks almost like a colorful sort of puzzle in her eyes. This fateful encounter brings big changes to Kasahara's life with her teammates in the Hanamai Girls High School Climbing Club. Kasahara races for the top in this passionate climbing story. Um, those who love waifu, this is for you. <laughs> uh, but all jokes aside, this is a nice sports anime. I really enjoyed this one, and it's it's unique um, for rock climbing. This is definitely a different uh, sports to really take in. We, we had baseball, we've had football or soccer for those who, who who know soccer, not football, American football. We have basketball, we have boxing. So we have seen a lot of sports anime. So it's nice to see something different like rock climbing in this one. And I actually really did enjoy it. First, the animation was great. Hopefully the animation budget wasn't all for this one episode to get us hooked. And I actually like the characters here. We had we got introduced to four girls who are going to compose the team. And Kasahara is this girl who basically was in, in a creative slump and just in a way just didn't really have much to do until she found this thing because she needed like something new to challenge her because she's the master of puzzles. And then she meets June who who basically saw her climb and was wondering if she why she's doing it because June has this passion for climbing like this has been consuming her whole life and she has always wanted to do this so she's meeting somebody who she kind of takes offense to it because she's meeting somebody who just sees this as something that might be making a hobby so she challenges to her and that basically is the whole premise of this episode is seeing how number one how kasahara can just adapt to anything and, and make it as a puzzle and you notice that the, how her mind works which I thought was really good especially with the animations when they were showing how she can see things as a puzzle which makes it easier for her to climb and I thought that was pretty cool and I also like this dynamic that's going to happen between them maybe it might be a rift or maybe they actually might get closer together of how June and Kazahara is going to work together because she actually kind of almost beat her and that's not good enough so think of as you know how like I'm not, I'm not trying to put Dragon Ball into this but it's kind of like that Goku Vegeta Vegeta relationship where Goku best Vegeta and Vegeta always needs to now surpass it's similar to that in a way but only that think of it like Vegeta won the first time but not in a satisfactory way so that's how I would describe Kasahara and Jun. Uh animation was great I love the use of colors it's bright it's beautiful nice some, some nice cinema photography and for those waifu guys out there waifu fans out there some really nice shots and great character designs as well very strong built women too um really enjoyed it um, nice voice acting music music production that was pretty cool as well I'm gonna recommend this one we give it a four out of five stars I enjoyed it I'm definitely going to keep in watch because I'm curious to see how this is going to play out with the relationship between the teammates Everybody, especially the one who's really overly obsessive and passionate compared to Kasahara, who's a little bit more laid back. So definitely, what, did you see the show? Let me know. Did you like it? What are your thoughts on it? You, did you find it a little bit cliche? This is Justin from TacosTheGeeks.com. As always, if you like what we do here, visit the Tacos of Geeks. Like, share, and subscribe on YouTube. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram at the Tacos of Geeks. And you can follow us on Twitter at Tacos of Geeks and Facebook.com slash the Tacos of Geeks blog. Later days, we'll catch you on the next one.